did we used to not spend a million dollars on food every month? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Lena and today I'm going to talk all about our spending freeze. We just did a spending freeze and I want to share with you how that went, what it looked like, and how you might be able to do one also. If you need to save some money really fast or perhaps you are interested in resetting your budget, this video is for you. On this channel, I work to simplify money and home. If this is the kind of content that you need in your life, please hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload a video. So what is it? A spending freeze is basically where you freeze spending money. You stop spending any extra money so that you can save quickly or pay down your debt faster or reset your budget. So after I did last month's budget and saw how out of control our spending was, and then we're building this beautiful new deck, and of course all projects seem to go over budget, I was like, we have to pay for this and we're spending so much money and we need to reset our money goals and our focus. So I suggested a spending freeze. Spending freezes will look different in every single household, but I'm just going to tell you what it looks like for us. So this means that we stop all extra spending. So if there was something fun or maybe on the edge of not needing it, you just don't get it. You don't get anything that you don't absolutely need. This also means we are eating down our pantry food. I pulled out those dry beans and started them on soaking. We haven't seen the bottom of our freezer for a long time because it's always overflowing with food, but we need to just stop that. So this means we ate down our freezer, we ate down our pantry, we tried to work meals around things that we already owned and not things that we would need to go buy. This definitely meant we had some different food combinations that ended up happening because lately we have been buying more specialty foods or fun foods, but since that was over, then we're back to combining potatoes and carrots and meat, <laughs> which was actually kind of a variety because we haven't actually eaten like that for a while. This also means we were remembering all of our budgeting tricks. So we were remembering how did we used to not spend a million dollars on food every month? I have a whole video about how to save on food, um, even when you have food sensitivities, and I will link that for you guys if you are interested in learning about those tricks. But for us, this month we needed to remember. So when we were down to our last three eggs, <laughs> then I went to the store, but I was remembering, okay, what are the less expensive vegetables? I'm looking at the price per pound of the vegetables again. And now I'm remembering that if we have enough eggs, we can survive for a long time and not go back to the store. Because every time I go back to the store, I spend way too much money, and then here we are. Then I'm also remembering, well, maybe everybody doesn't need their own special kind of specialty ice cream, uh, and that's probably adding up. And maybe I don't need my two different kinds of chocolate that I like right now. So I was remembering that I didn't need specialty foods and that I needed to look at the price of vegetables to strategize about which ones were least expensive. If you are thinking about doing your own spending freeze, the first thing you need to do is set some rules with your spouse or partner about what the spending freeze is supposed to look like. So for us, this means we're buying the cheap vegetables. We're avoiding going to the store all the time. We are holding out for as long as possible until there's a necessity, at least for us that's like eggs and potatoes that we have to get or we won't have anything to eat. So we're holding off on going to the store for the longest amount of time every single time. So literally we put off going to Costco, which means we only have one serving of meat left in our freezer. Another rule for us during our spending freeze is no extra food. So kind of like I was talking about before, no specialty ice cream, no specialty chocolate, no specialty $5 salad dressing that's really good. So some of those things that add a little bit of spice to life, but are not necessary for survival. One of my favorite foods is spaghetti. And for me, because of all my food sensitivities, there's only this one expensive kind of noodle I can get, of course. And previously we were eating spaghetti a couple nights a week. And 
those specialty items really were added up. So it was also, we need to cut the specialty food. Maybe we could have spaghetti one time a week. The other thing we focused on during our spending freeze was the combinations we can make with food we already have. So we're looking in the pantry and the fridge and the freezer and saying, okay, I've got this pork. What can I buy that would work with this pork, but it would also work with this chicken or it'd work with these beans or whatever it is. So I'm uh, sourcing from my stockpiles already. Then I'm buying the minimum amount of things that it would take to complete that meal. So now you have a few rules for your spending freeze so you know what you can and cannot buy that you've decided. So one of my main strategies during the spending freeze is to hold off buying something for as long as possible. So this means that if I think we need toothpaste, I'm looking for the little dentist ones and I'm using those ones all the way up and squishing it all out before even considering buying any extra toothpaste. We're also using the could I wait one more day strategy. Like what would happen if we didn't buy it today and we waited till tomorrow? And then the next day you're like, but what if we waited one more day? But what if we waited one more day? This also means that we are making more careful grocery lists because we know we're not gonna go to the grocery store three times this week because that cost us a million dollars. So we are including everything on the list so that we are really getting everything that we need at that time. It also gives us time to rethink our list. Like, actually, I think we could do without that item. So at least for me, I find that the spending freeze is made easier if we can focus on what we already have and be thankful for the things that we already have. So I'm looking for activities that are free, like sitting outside in the sunshine and just enjoying the backyard that we have, which is awesome. Or maybe I am coloring in that coloring book that I haven't touched in a long time and just enjoying the peace and calm of that. Or maybe instead of thinking of fun foods to make, we're going on a family walk instead. So free activities that remind us that we do really have an awesome life already and we have so much to be thankful for. Even if we don't have all the material things that we could possibly want in the entire world, our life is still incredibly awesome and blessed. A spending freeze can be a great time to get back to the basics of what life is really about get back to the minimum of what you actually need to survive. Of course, a spending freeze does not mean you stopped paying your bills. So I'm super curious, have you ever tried a spending freeze or something like a spending freeze? And what was it like and how did that go? Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any uploads. See you in the next one. Bye for now.